In our last video, we introduced you to the giant Pacific manta ray, the one animal that started the story of success of the Socorro Islands. In its wake, another animal propelled to almost equal fame in recent years, the bottlenose dolphin. Bottlenose dolphins are the most common members of the family Delphinidae, the family of oceanic dolphin. Not only do they roam this Mexican archipelago in big numbers and are an almost guaranteed sight on every trip we are doing out here, but also did they develop a reputation very similar to that of the resident giant mantis. When you see our dive master signaling that dolphins are near, then you are probably in for a treat unlike anything else you have ever seen. The Socorro bottlenose dolphin must be one of, if not the most playful resident dolphin population anywhere on earth. If you are a seasoned scuba diver, you have possibly seen them during previous dive trips elsewhere, but take our word for it, nothing comes close to a typical dolphin experience you are likely to enjoy when diving the Socorro Islands with us. In a few words, the one thing that makes this curious mammal so unique out here is its tendency to go into a vertical stall once it has decided it wants to play and interact with us. What that means is that it stops its forward swimming motion by erecting its body upward and thus allows divers to approach it closely while just maintaining its position in the water by slightly moving its tail. If you have never seen this before, your heart will jump. And if you have seen this before, like us, your heart will jump as well. But one word of caution. Because this is such a hypnotizing dance between human and animal, it is tricky in this way as the dolphin very slowly descends, which may go unnoticed by the divers who are in a euphoric state of mind. But don't worry, our dive masters have ample experience in reminding you that you are not a dolphin and have to stay within safe boundaries. Why the dolphins engage in this strange behavior is not quite clear yet. One theory is that they are mimicking our behavior this way. On the other hand, do we encourage our guests to engage in dolphin-like swimming styles to keep them as long as interested in us as possible? They copy us and we copy them. The simplest way of interspecies communication. Bottlenose dolphins can reach up to 12 feet in length and their average weight is 600 pounds. Females can live up to 60 years. The best time to see them is usually in the morning. Later in the day they tend to swim offshore to hunt. We have seen and interacted with pods of up to 50 animals in the past. Many times we can see young ones in between them accompanied by their mothers who don't seem to worry about introducing their little ones to these unknown bubble-blowing beings. Dolphins are highly social animals. They always seem to be doing something. They love to touch each other's bodies with their wiggling fins or nudge their noses against each other. This way they strengthen the bond that unites them with their family and pot. And clearly Many times they invite us to be just that, a part of their family, even if it is only for a limited amount of time. But as the saying goes, it's not the quantity that matters, but the quality. And the quality of those moments of children-like joy are through the roof. 
Another interesting behavior is that they tend to hunt and harass jackfish in the mornings. They typically pick one out of a group and follow it until the jack regurgitates its stomach content that the dolphin then eats and which allows the jackfish to escape. And just very recently we have discovered at the boiler, one of our top dive sites to see dolphins, that they also do get cleaned by the orange clarion angelfish that normally cleans the mantis. Maybe it has so far slipped our eyes because that usually occurs near the bottom of the dive site which is around 140 feet when the dolphins drop down there which is of course not where we mainly hang out. Thank you Mother Nature for blessing us with a Socorro bottlenose dolphin a character like no other. It will make you feel like a child again when you enter its playground and you will start to swim like a dolphin before you know it. Next week we will complete the triangle of awesomeness of the Socorro Islands. As much as we love mantas and dolphins, our lives wouldn't be the same without sharks.